Would you suggest that a patient with complicated PSC transfers to being under the care of a specialist PSC hospital rather than a local hospital without a dedicated liver department? Yeah, I think I do. Um, you know, I think there comes a point perhaps when things are getting complex and you do, once again, you only build up an expertise of looking after a disease if you look after hundreds of patients with it and you've done so for a number of years. And I think there comes a point where you start, and I hope most of us feel, you know, would feel, you know, would want a patient to be looked after by the right doctor. So I think there, there does come a point where I think, and in fact, that you know, it was in the, it was in our guidelines, the BSG, that beyond a certain point, they should be referred to a specialist because it's not just one individual when you're looking after a difficult patient with PSC. You need good access to pathology for yeah. those that sometimes might have an overlap of two diseases. You need good access to good radiologists who really can help you interpret it. And also, as patients start to progress towards transplantation, you do need also, you know, those expertises of transplant doctors as well to tell you, yeah, you know, I think this is probably the right time and start to take that patient on the journey, preparing them towards needing a transplant. So I think there's no doubt there comes a point. And, you know, and I actually don't work in a transplant centre. You know, I look after people pre and post transplant and I have, you know, I work with my colleagues in Cambridge. And sometimes if I'm not sure if someone's getting to that point, that maybe there's no harm in asking for a second opinion from someone else. What do you think? Do you think it's time for us to think about transplantation with this patient? And if they say it's a bit too early, they come back to you. And, you know, I think that's just the nature of it. And even when you look after lots of people asking for just a second pair of eyes, you know, and sometimes just to you know reassure you as the clinician looking after them is so fundamentally important. And once again, if you feel, un you don't feel happy, you have to ask for a second opinion. I think it's absolutely vital.